and that's why I'm grateful uh, for this opportunity. I'd like to respond. Please do. Thank you. I was born and raised on a farm. I grew up working in the fields. I waitressed my way through school, and I was the first in my family to graduate from college. I worked hard to live the American dream and became a job creator right here in Georgia. But this type of rhetoric is a distraction from the issues at hand. The Democrats want to fundamentally change America, and the agent of change is my opponent, radical liberal Raphael Warnock, someone that has uh, attacked police from the pulpit, someone that has attacked our military, someone that has agreed to raise taxes on hardworking Georgians, as much as $2,000 per family off the bats. That's not what Georgians need to get through this pandemic and get our economy going. I'm fighting for the American dream every day. Okay, Reverend, you're going to have an opportunity to respond to those things because I know Greg is going to get to them. It's his turn to ask you a question. Yeah, I have a question <clears throat> on that same topic. You've been attacked for comments you made from the pulpit about law enforcement and the military, foreign policy, among others. You've also said they're taken out of context, but you made these remarks in a public forum. Why shouldn't Georgians take them at face value? Look, it's, it's clear to me that uh, my opponent is uh, going to work really hard spending millions of dollars of her own money <clears throat> trying to push a narrative about me because she's clearly decided uh, that she does not have a case to be made for why she should stay in that seat. I have worked my whole life to pull people together. I've been working on criminal justice reform. I've worked alongside law enforcement officers to do that work. Uh, several years ago, uh, I actually brought together the law enforcement officers here in this city, the chief of police, the Black Lives Matter activists, the sitting attorney general, families, parents, all in my church focused on working on these issues that we've seen emerge time and time again. And we need somebody who knows how to bring people together rather than using these issues as a political point to be made. Uh, these issues are tragic and our law enforcement officers lay it on the line every day. They have an ally with me I just think that you can affirm what law enforcement officers do and hold them accountable. Senator Leffler, 30 seconds. You know, my opponent, radical liberal Raphael Warnock, has called police officers gangsters, thugs, bullies, and a threat to our children. When I gave him the chance to apologize in our first debate, he declined. He's also said that you can't serve God and the military. He's used the Bible to justify these types of attacks and make other divisive statements. What we need is someone who can bring together, that can help us get through this pandemic and rebuild our economy across this country and right here in Georgia. That's what I'm fighting to do. Do you want to put that into context? Sure, I'd love to respond. Listen, uh, this is why I think folks have turned off from politics very often, uh, because people will turn anything into uh, a kind of cynical political argument. Uh, I was preaching that day uh, from a very familiar math, uh, Matthew text that says you can't serve God and mammon. It was a sermon about uh, a moral foundation for everything that we do, and that when you have everything in order, that actually makes you a better soldier. It also makes you a better senator. And had Kelly Leffler listened to the sermon, rather than trying to make a cheap political point, she would not have used her advantage as a U.S. senator to make millions on a pandemic while playing it down to the people she was supposed to be representing. Lisa, should like respond. Oh, go ahead, please. You know, I'm a Christian. I'm a person of deep faith. I don't need a lecture from someone who has used the Bible to not only justify attacking our military. That's not in, the, in Matthew 6, 24. It doesn't say you can't serve the military and God, but he's also used the Bible to justify abortion. I cannot stand by and let Georgians know, not know who my opponent is, how radical his views are, and how he would fundamentally change our country. He's out of step with Georgia's values. 